the tra traditional understanding is that if you pay more than 30% of your income for housing expenses, uh, your housing is unaffordable. But the question is 30% of what? Is it 30% for renting a studio apartment? Or is it 30% for paying off a $4 million family house? We also forget that unlike a jar of milk, which is consumer good, when you are buying shares, you are definitely investing. But when you are buying housing, it is a, it is a little bit of both. Housing stress is uh, where you define, this is the borderline of affordability. If you're below that borderline, borderline, um, uh, you are in housing stress. But the actual considerable part of our research is how to measure that borderline. We look at what people live on after fulfilling their housing expenses. And if what they live on after extract housing costs is below poverty line, people are in housing stress. So, uh, the only solution is to build where infrastructure is. Moving from uh, uh, suburban living to Manhattan-style living, uh, uh, it is in inevitable, especially because the forecast is in a couple of decades, the population of Melbourne will double.